I'm looking at each household in the suburb and the people who enlisted from those houses and I'm trying to get an idea of how the First World War impacted this suburb and this area directly. Rankin Street, just behind us, at the moment that one has the highest uptake of enlistment of any street in the wider Subiaco area that I've found. Uh, so you had 16 houses on Rankin Road and of those there were 15 enlistments. Only four houses on that street out of 16 did not send somebody to war. And that's quite an unusual pattern in the scheme of things. It's a bit more spread out elsewhere. Uh, so I'm having a look at the factors behind that. I'm trying to work out what compelled people in this street to go away to a higher degree. Uh, and one of the things that's already popped up is that on this street during those war years, we had two serving members of parliament who lived there who both enlisted to go to war. So that was quite a, a kind of forward moving thing from them to demonstrate leading by example that people around them should go. We know a lot about the First World War already. It's a popular phase of history for Australia. Uh, but without the context of a local community, we end up with a lot of generalisation, I suppose, in terms. Uh, so we know broad facts about the people who fought for Australia during the war. We understand that in Australia, we had perhaps one in five who were married. Uh, and so the weight of loss fell onto parents and, and others in that respect. But in Subiaco, at least 40% of the men were married. So it's an example of how when you look down at a local area like this and you connect the facts to places and to people, you see that not everything was the same across Australia. So our experience of war was a lot more varied than we've previously understood.